Hey Foundry Church, my name is Lindsay Bazan and I'm the business director here and I'm going to walk you through today's devotion. We're going to start in the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 26, 36 through 46. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane and he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, my father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Yesterday we talked about best friends. Not only do they truly know you, but when you are going through something difficult, they are who you want near. This is where we find Jesus on the night he was betrayed. My heart breaks as I read Jesus' words to his friends. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Jesus was pleading, please don't leave me alone. This feels like too much. Jesus knew what was about to happen and he was afraid. Jesus was fully man. Jesus knew what it felt like to run home to his mom after another kid was mean to him. He knew what it was like to miss loved ones. Jesus experienced hunger, thirst, exhaustion, and disappointment. Jesus knew what it felt like to be happy, to laugh, and to hug his brothers and sisters. Jesus probably had a favorite meal, favorite game, and favorite song. He was fully human. And here, on the darkest night of the soul, he felt fear, loneliness, and sorrow, sorrow to the point of death. Whatever you are facing, Jesus understands. Turn to him. Remember these words from Hebrews as you approach our Lord and Savior. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Thanks for joining us today and I hope to see you soon.